Hello and thanks for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Acumatica 2020 R2 and a new feature for generic inquiries. So many of you know that a generic inquiry gives you the ability to produce lists. So for example, if we go to payables and we look at bills, what you see here is a list of the bills. It's in a grid style view. It gives you the ability to manipulate columns. It gives you the ability to sort and filter. And it's throughout Acumatica. So if I did the same thing, but I went to vendors instead, I could see my list of vendors. Over on receivables, I could see my list of invoices, my payments, customers. So throughout Acumatica, we use it quite a bit to get you the information that you need to get to and to analyze data that you want to analyze. But on top of that, you can make your own generic inquiries. So if we go to our generic inquiry screen, Acumatica gives you the ability to build a generic inquiry. And we have a video on creating a generic inquiry and how you can go about doing that. But in this video, Acumatica 2020 R2 has some new features that'll allow you to more easily create your generic inquiry. So let's say, for example, we want to see vendor purchase history. Across the board, all vendors and all items that we purchase through purchase orders and all the way through. So we could create a title here. We could make it part of the user interface. We could put it in any workspace that we want. Maybe we want it to be part of purchases. And under inquiries. And now we can add our first table. Now, in Acumatica, you can do a lookup of all the tables, and there's a display name for it. So let's say, for example, we wanted to first bring up our purchase history table. And you could see that here, purchase receipt line. So normally we would add this table, but this wouldn't be enough to add all of the columns that we needed to add here. So for example, we go to purchase receipt line and we look at some of the fields. You could see a lot of fields here, but not all of the fields will make sense to us. So for example, we'll add inventory ID. And Acumatica normally gives you the description, even though this is in a different table. So we can say inventory ID. and inventory description. And, you know, maybe we want the quantity. So the receipt quantity. We want receipts, not purchase orders, because we want to know the actual purchase history, that what's been finalized and received into stock. And maybe we want, uh, for example, the cost. And this is a good start, but what we won't have out of this is, for example, the vendor name. So what we would have to do is add additional tables so that we can relate that information to our list. Now, we're going to talk about that in a second, but one of the new features that's here in Generic Inquiries is the ability to preview. So we can preview while we're creating this Generic Inquiry on the fly. Acumatica is using a feature of side panels for this generic inquiry record. So as we're creating this, we can see all of the vendor purchase history. So for example, this laptop computer motherboard, we received 250 of them at $49.50. That's some pretty decent information, but maybe we want the date. And as we add it, you could see over here to the right, we now have the date. So this is starting to look and build up nice. Now, the other thing you could do here is, for example, add the field caption. And caption allows us to change the name of the column. Right now it says PO receipt line date. That doesn't really look great, but we can change it to date, save it. And if we scroll to the right, we can see it now says date. So this is really helpful to be able to see your work in progress. 
instead of viewing the inquiry and then editing the inquiry and continuing to go back and forth. It can be time consuming. And now what we need is the vendor's name. So let's go over here to tables and Acumatica's added a new option here called add related table. So what you can see here is Acumatica goes through and looks for related tables and gives you the ability to select them and then add them. Notice the relation between our PO receipt line and the vendor table. It's put in here and when we add this table, not only is it easy to add, but if we go over to relationships, you can see Acumatic has automatically added the join for us. So if we save this, we won't see a change here yet because we haven't added any additional columns. So the generic inquiry to the end user, there's no difference so far. But if we go back to our results grid, and we change this to our new table vendor, we can find our account name and save it. And if we scroll to the right, we now can see the vendor name. And maybe we want to add the account ID as well. And maybe lastly, we want to add the category of the item, the item class category. We'll add our related table. And you can see here, Acumatic is still showing the parent table as vendor. We're going to switch back to PO receipt line and we'll add our inventory table here. Select it. It's got the join here. We'll add it. Now we have our inventory item table here. Our relationship is built for it. And let's add one other table here. And that will be related to inventory item. but we want the item class. So we'll select that and then add it. Now, if we go back to results grid, we wanted the item class. That's great. We'll put that here. We want the item class description. And we have the inventory item table here. So maybe we want to add a column from that. Maybe the time that this item was brought into our system, the created date time. So that's it. Generic inquiries now give us the ability to preview as we're building them. They also give us the ability to suggest what the tables are that are related and also add the joins to our generic inquiry. This will save us a lot of time for building out generic inquiries. And here's our finished product. We view the generic inquiry. We can now see the finished product. We can get into the inventory ID profile directly, the vendor profile directly. You can sort and filter. You can do pivot tables on this. where we're adding the class and the vendor name and maybe the total cost that we've spent. And very quickly, we now have a pivot table that'll allow us to analyze our vendor purchasing history against different categories and against different vendors. And we could drill down into these if we need to. So very helpful. Thanks so much for watching this video and have a great day.